I think it's no different when I was a teacher, when I decided to come teaching. You know, I have a real passion for uh, you know, working with people to help people achieve their goals. And, um, and so people often say, well, why would you go to Connacht Rugby, you know, when you come from the Blues or so forth? And I said, mate, coaching is coaching. And when you've got people that want to uh, improve, you've got people that come together for a collective goal, a collective vision, mate, uh, that's, that's the passion. So, yeah, you know, I'm living the dream, coaching. And, um, and to come to this side of the world again and, and go to a place I've never been with, uh, with who they are, it's, it's, it's exciting for me and I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Millennium. Millennium. Carter Farms in the old day, Millennium. We just seem to have a lot of success there and it's a great stadium. Richard. <laughs> oh, geez. I tell you, when we first started, it was steak. Steak and eggs, but then we got told it's not good for us, so we ended up going to the old pasta. Afternoon. Uh, definitely daylight, and uh, daylight, and it comes around early. Uh, I'll be back teaching, you know, I, I just love it and I still stay in touch, I, you know, spend, try and spend a bit of time in, into uh, schools, um, doing assemblies and, and I spend a bit of time at my kids' school, I, I really enjoy, really, really enjoy school teaching. Uh, probably, um, oh, I mean, there's, you know, there's the Michael Jordans and the, and the Tiger Woods and, and so forth. Um, Probably the guys, I can't think of anyone, but it's, I always have a lot of respect for the, the guys who, who get knocked down and come back. You know, the guys who are written off and they come back, you know, the resilience of that and people uh, you know, who keep, continue to bounce back. So, you know, you see them in so many walks of life, this, you know, and, and those are the people I admire. Depends. Tracksuit. Uh, probably, you know, without a doubt, uh, it still remains as Samoa 91 World Cup. Uh, not just at launch Samoa rugby, everything they're achieving now is on the back of what the boys did way back then in 91 and, um, and what it did for Samoa people. And, you know, uh, it would take a lot of uh, pride when I look at where Samoa rugby is now, number seven in the world. And I look back at 91 and what we had to go through to get that. And that opened the doors to first internationals against all the big countries over the next few years. So that was, that's a massive highlight.